Hi, welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about meeting options in Microsoft Teams. Let us start by opening Outlook and going to Calendar and clicking on New Teams Meeting. Let's enter the title. You can see that the Join Teams Meeting link has been created and you can also see meeting options. Let's click on that now to see what the experience is like. If we click on that now, you can see that the information has not been populated. And if you select who can present and select specific people, nothing comes up. The meeting options becomes available only after you send the invitation. Let's do that now. Click on send. Let's now open the calendar invite. And click on meeting options. You can now see that the meeting options have been populated and you have four options under meeting options. The first one being who can bypass the lobby. The options available under that are everyone, people in my organization and trusted organizations and people in my organization. If you select everyone, Everyone will be able to bypass the lobby and the organizer would not get the notification to admit people into the lobby. That means they won't be waiting in the lobby. If you select people in my organization and trusted organization, it means people in my organization and trusted organizations will not wait in the lobby and they will bypass it and go straight in the meeting room. The trusted organizations are set up in the Teams Admin Center. If I select people in my organization, only people in my organization will bypass the lobby. Everyone else will wait in the lobby and the organizer will need to admit them in manually. The next option, always let callers bypass the lobby. If I select this, anybody who dials in will not wait in the lobby. They will enter the meeting room straight away. I'm going to select no. The next option, Announce when callers join or leave. If this is set to yes, it will announce the person or the participant when they join or leave. This can be annoying when you have a lot of participants and they're joining and leaving in between the presentation or the meeting. I'm going to set that to no. The last option, who can present. The four options that you have under that are everyone, people in my organization, specific people, and only me. If I select everyone, it means Anyone who has access to the meeting link will join the meeting as a presenter. If I select people in my organization, it means only people in my organization will be presenters. External participants will join as attendees. If I select specific people, only people I select will be presenters. Everyone else will join as attendees. And if I select only me, only the organizer will be the presenter. All other participants will join as attendees. Let's click on specific people. Now under this, I'm presented with the option for selecting my presenter for the meeting. Now I added two presenters to the list, but only one shows up. As per the Microsoft support page, it says you won't be able to select someone from a different organization as a presenter. Hence, I'm only able to see people within my organization, and I can only select people within my organization as presenters. Let's click on Save. It's always good to look at the meeting options to make sure that it is set appropriately. Another thing to note is that meeting options isn't yet supported on Safari. So if you're using a Mac, use a different browser. I'll put the links to these support pages in the description. Let us now join the meeting as an organizer. I'm not going to go through the custom setup for the audio and video. 
and, and camera as we've covered that in a different video. Let's click on join now. Let us now have a look at the guest experience. I'm going to click on cancel. I'm going to say join on the web instead. Click on allow to use my microphone. Again, I'm not going to go through the audio, video, and camera setup because we've covered that in a different video. Enter a name. Now we are joining in as a guest, an external user. Click on join now. The message to the guest is someone in the meeting should let you in soon. Let's look at the organizer view. The presenter gets a notification saying there's someone waiting in the lobby and he's going to admit that person in the lobby. The guest is now in the lobby. Now you can see that the share or present option is grayed out and it says only meeting organizers and presenters can share. This is because under the option for who can present, I selected specific people and that specific people was only someone within my organization. Now from the organizer view, I can change that. I can click on my, my guest, click on the three dots for more options, and I can make that person a presenter. And say, select change. If I go back to my guest view, my external guest view, I'm now, I now see a statement that says, you're a presenter, you can share content and facilitate the meeting. And you can see the icon is now active and I'm able to share. The organizer or presenter can change that again by clicking on more options and make the user as an attendee. And the guest now says, you're an attendee, you can chat and share audio and video, but not present or facilitate. This is grayed out. Let us hang up. If you do not see the calendar option within Microsoft Teams desktop application, it's probably because your emails are not on Exchange Online. Let's now go to Teams and try to create a meeting within a channel. For this example, I've got the technology team and within the team, I've got the Minecraft channel. Let's click on that and click on the Meet Now option. Again, if schedule a meeting is not available, it's probably because your emails are not in Exchange Online. Let's click on Schedule a Meeting. Give it a title. Enter my attendees and participants. Enter my time slot. Click on send. Let's go back to calendar. And click on the invite. You can now see meeting options over here and over here. They're both the same. Let's click on meeting options over here. Now see the same set of options and when you click on who can present and select specific people, the messaging is for now specific presenters can't be selected for meeting for channel meetings. According to the Microsoft support page, it says the ability to select specific presenters isn't yet available for channel meetings. That's all we are covering in this video. If you found this helpful, kindly like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.